right, Mark, thanks. This is we hang out with some good company here. <laughs> Trooper Dale Buck joining us now uh, with our Crime Stoppers segment. Oftentimes we're talking about a criminal wanted, but right now we're going to totally focus on school bus safety. And a good time to brush up. Of course, we've been back for a few weeks now. And I'm going to ask you a question that I had as a driver coming up in just a few moments. But I know you also want to focus on loading and unloading of that bus. And as a parent, I'm so glad that you are. Any tips or reminders you have for us? You know, just uh, if you see a school bus, whether it be, a, you know, the public, the driver, uh, just use heightened awareness. Um, mm -hmm. School bus is related to children. So if you see a school bus, slow down. Mm -hmm. um, prepare yourself even before. You know, try to leave a little bit earlier. You know school's in session. Um, take your time, heightened awareness, scan the area, check to see if there's any kids running around. They become complacent. They get excited after getting off the bus. Mm -hmm. So you just want to make sure that you see them, you locate them, and you know, use caution at all times. I know, for example, a school district where we are did a lot of work with the kids, but uh, you know, getting ready, to, learning the rules, getting on, getting, getting off. But you're right; they probably forget them yeah. some of the time. They're kids, after Absolutely. all. It's up to us as adults to make sure we're doing the right thing, right? Yes, ma'am. Do you are you surprised sometimes, maybe when you're driving around, the activity you do see around school buses? Maybe people driving too fast, or do you see that times when they don't stop when the you know the stop sign comes out? We do see it, and uh, you know it's disappointing, uh, you know, because people they don't tend to realize, you know, you're dealing with kids' lives, and um, you know when you're in a rush trying to get somewhere, your mind's in another place. Okay. So that's basically why we're here today, and why we're talking about it, is we want to kind of bring everybody back in, get them understanding that hey, these kids are around here. Um, if you're if you're late now, you're going to be even more late with an incident. So mm -hmm. we just want to avoid that at all costs. Mm -hmm. I had a situation the other day where I was driving down a divided highway, and there was a school bus on the other side. Um, it stopped, and my gut told me I should stop, but some of the other cars in front of me didn't. And I thought, oh my gosh, what am I supposed to do? I googled it. It's actually different rules for different states. But what is the law in New York State? Well, New York State, you know, we're regulated by the New York State Vehicle and Traffic Law. Uh, there are sections that basically protect uh, school buses on and offloading. Um, I know we all relate to, you see the yellow first, then you see the red. Mm -hmm. uh, when these kids are offloading on and off or and onloading, um, you must stop. Mm -hmm. um, even must, on a divided highway? Even on a divided highway. Okay. Uh, it really doesn't matter because you got to remember these kids are going to be crossing in front of the buses. They're going to be offloading to the right. Mm -hmm. um, so no matter where you are, whether it's a city, a rural, you know, a business area, you need to stop give the bus enough space and let them clear. And that is protected by the vehicle and traffic law. And there's definitely some hefty fines and points for your license that we would all love to avoid mm -hmm. and keep the kids safe at the same time. I feel like also we're also talking about new technology a lot too, of you know brighter flashing lights or bigger arms that come down. So I don't know if you ever hear the excuse of, oh, I just didn't see the lights. That probably just doesn't cut it anymore, does it? It doesn't, it doesn't. And all, uh, another problem is you know distractive driving. And uh, I like to, you know, also stress that if you do see a school bus and you are doing something wrong, GPS, texting, calls, <clears throat> take another step to just make sure you get that out of your hands. Mm -hmm. Focus on the road, the surrounding areas, scan the area, mm -hmm. you know, heighten awareness. Um, it's important. It really is. So It'll save lives. Those mornings and afternoons, right? Yes. Yeah, yes especially. But it could, then you have the, the midday kindergartens too. So it could be mid-morning. You just, you just never know. Just Absolutely. don't mess around, right? Absolutely. And even around playgrounds, um, any area. Ah, you know, yeah, just not after schools. school. You yeah. know, you want to just be careful all around. All right. Divided highway, you have to stop. Don't forget, I forgot and I had to double check. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. We're going to take a break. We're coming up next. Hannah will introduce us to more of the riders at Heritage Christian Stables, a local organization which provides horseback riding lessons for people with disabilities in a safe and comfortable environment. Look at those cuties. <laughs> Back in a moment.